Hey everybody, Sean from Movie Assault here, and it's time once again for another video. This time out, it's going to be my haul for April of 2023. I've got uh, mostly Blu-ray, a few, well, kind of more than a few DVDs, but I don't think I have any 4K this month, which is odd, um, but it is what it is. I do want to start off with something that I missed from last month's haul from March, and I want to start with that, and then I'll get into April, um, and that is, I left this in the other room uh, when I did my March 2023 haul video, and I completely forgot that I had it, and here it is. It's King Kong Lives on Blu-ray from Umbrella Entertainment, and this I had to get from Australia. Uh, I ordered it from Amazon, and they canceled my order, uh, so I ordered it from a third-party seller from Australia on Amazon. There's the disc. Uh, and then it I thought it would have reversible artwork, but it has actually, like, liner notes. But there's the actual artwork, which is kind of odd, but kind of cool at the same time. Um, this is pretty awful movie. Um, it's a sequel to the 1976 Dino De Laurentiis King Kong, um, where they give King Kong a heart transplant, and then um, they, uh, for some reason, they bring in a Queen Kong, and apparently they have a kid. It, it I haven't seen it in quite a while, but it is dopey fun. Um, this is listed as Region B, but it is not. I tested it. It's region free, or at least it works in Region A and B. Um, so I'm really glad to have this in the collection, just because I love King Kong. I love all of the King Kong movies, no matter how stupid they are. This is probably the stupidest King Kong movie there is, but I love it anyway. But I'm way overdue for a rewatch. So, um, and it does have some special features. It has a new audio commentary by King Kong, the history of a movie icon, author Ray Morton, a new interview with miniature supervisor David M. Jones, a new... Uh, John Gillerman, or I don't, I'm not 100% sure how to pronounce the director's name, but uh, John Gillerman or Guillerman, Gillerman, please correct me if you know how to pronounce it. Uh, it says John Gillerman lives and a video essay on director, uh, but on the director by Stephen Vag and the original theatrical teaser trailer and a stills gallery. So not a whole lot here. Um, it does have a DTS HD soundtrack, 5.1, and 2.0 mix as well. So 105 minutes, King Kong lives. So this is left over from March. Sorry, I missed it. All right, let's get into April stuff. Uh, I'm going to go real quick through this first stuff because I already talked about it in my Half Price Books haul video. So I picked up uh, Three from Hell from Rob Zombie on clearance for three bucks. Uh, picked up Leon the Professional, brand new, still sealed. This was $5.99, $6, I believe. Still has a Best Buy price tag on it. Um, Robot Chicken Star Wars on DVD. And this was also in the clearance section. That was 2 or $3. And then picked up Pontypool on DVD. Excellent under underseen horror movie from 2009. And then, of course, the pride of that haul, which is the complete Monty Python's Flying Circus on 14 discs uh, that I picked up for 20 bucks. All right. So if you want more detail about that, go check out my Half Price Books haul video. I'll put a link right up there. All right, let's move into the stuff that I got from other places. I got stuff from Amazon, uh, Shout Factory, uh, Hamilton Book, and eBay. And we'll start out with the Amazon, which is a quick hitter. It is Cocaine Bear. I saw this in the theater back in February. Had a hell of a lot of fun with this. It's super funny. Uh, probably overhyped uh, for what it is, but it is a good time. And... Uh, it's worth seeing with a group of friends. It's it's pretty hilarious. Uh, then that's it for Amazon. Next is Shout Factory. I had their uh, took advantage of their Roger Corman sale. 
So I picked up Demon of Paradise. This was directed by uh, Sirio Santiago. I have, I think I saw this many moons ago, but I'm not 100% sure. I used to have it on a DVD combo with um, Up From The Depths. Um, I've heard bad things about this, but that only makes it more interesting to watch. Uh, this includes a new 2K scan of the original camera negative and a trailer. That's the only special features on it. Uh, but Demon of Paradise from Scream Factory. And this is one of the Roger Corman's cult classics series. This is from Shout Factory. This is Humanoids from the Deep. This is the um, unrated or uncut version. I don't know if it has two versions. No, it says new high definition transfer of the uncut international version. Version uh, also has never before seen deleted scenes, trailers, TV and radio spots. Leonard Malton interviews Roger Corman on the making of the film. Uh, there's a making of the humanoids from the deep featuring new interviews with Roger Corman, second unit and assistant director James Sebard Seb Sebard Delati. Uh, composer James Horner and Cindy Weintraub, and New World Trailers. This is um, this is an interesting film. Can't believe I didn't have it in my collection already. And then this was probably the best pickup of that sale. Uh, the price wasn't phenomenal, but uh, I'm really glad to own these six movies now. This is the volume one of the Vincent Price collection. You can see the film's that are included right there. I double dipped on one of them, which is the Abominable Dr. Fibes, uh, but it also includes The Pit and the Pendulum, The Mask of the Red Death, The Haunted Palace, The Fall of the House of Usher, and Witchfinder General, also known as The Conqueror Worm. Uh, this is the reissued version, so I guess it does not include the introduction by Vincent Price that the original had, but I'm not really too worried about that. It's more about the films, and so I'm glad to have this in my collection. Next up is Hamilton Book, and I uh, picked up five things from them. Uh, picked this one up. This is kind of interesting. I think this is from Canada, based on the sticker. I don't believe I... I think I paid $4.95 for this, but it has a $10 Boxing Day sticker, on, Boxing Week sticker on it, so I'm assuming it's from, from Canada. Uh, but this is obviously Frank Miller's Sin City. I uh, saw this in the theater when it originally came out, and uh, I can't believe I didn't have it in my collection. But uh, this was directed by Robert Rodriguez and Frank Miller with a special guest director, Quentin Tarantino, and includes um, appearances by Bruce Willis and Jessica Alba, Benicio Del Toro, Brittany Murphy, Clive Owen, Mickey Rourke, and Elijah Wood. Uh, really enjoyed this in the theater. And I picked up the sequel as well, Sin City, A Dame to Kill For. And this one I have not seen. I don't know that much about it. This is also appears to be a Canadian version. Uh, got a slipcover, which is cool. And this, who is in this? This is also directed by Robert Rodriguez and Frank Miller. Um, it does not have the cast on the slipcover. And the cast is so damn small, I can't read it on here. Uh, oh, but it says it has Mickey Rourke, Jessica Alba, Josh Brolin, Joseph Gordon-Levitt, Rosario Dawson, Bruce Willis, Ava Green, Powers Booth, Dennis Haysbert, Ray Liotta, and Jeremy Piven. Um, I have heard that this is probably not as good as the original, but uh, I'm still interested to see it, so I'll probably be doing a double feature of those two. This is one that I really wanted to get. I had it in my uh, wish list for Amazon for quite some time and saw it on Hamilton Book quite a bit cheaper than I could get it on Amazon, so I picked it up. It is Man of a Thousand Faces, a very fictionalized biopic of the original Lon Chaney, Lon Chaney Sr. This was directed by Joseph Pevney, uh, obviously stars James Cagney, also features Dorothy Malone and Jane Greer. I've seen this movie a few times. Last time I watched it, I was a lot more aware 
of how fictionalized it was and how melodramatic it was made, but it's still interesting because it still tells the story of Lon Chaney, who um, I wrote a school paper on, I think, when I was in eighth grade. Um, luckily, I did not cite any of the information from this movie, uh, but this is an Arrow Academy release and uh, should be pretty good. Well, it's, a, it's, it's an okay movie. It's not the greatest, but uh, I do like the makeup work and the fact that they got uh, James Cagney to wear all these crazy get-ups that Lon Chaney was known for. So, uh, yeah, glad to have that in the collection, even though I know it's not the greatest film. Uh, this is Robert Redford, All Is Lost. This is the Canadian version. So we've got the, the French title down here as well and on the spine. But uh, I watched this on Netflix and really enjoyed it. It's basically a one-man show for Robert Redford. Uh, I don't even remember if anybody else is in it other than Robert Redford. Um... But uh, it says, Robert Redford delivers one of the finest performances of his career in this thrilling, highly acclaimed film about one man's battle for survival at sea. And he won the Best Actor Award from the New York Film Critics Circle. Um, very, very uh, interesting movie, very good movie, survival story. I always enjoy movies like this. Uh, and this is a good one. And this was four four ninety five, I believe. And then last, but certainly not least, from Hamilton Book, I finally added the Mummy Trilogy to my collection. This is the Blu-ray digital code combo version. And uh, I have not seen The Tomb of the Dragon Emperor. I did see uh, The Mummy and The Mummy Returns, both in theaters with Brendan Fraser. Uh, and, of course, Rachel Weiss is in the first one. And I think they replaced her in the second one, but I can't remember with who. Uh, but yeah, Rick O'Connell, the intrepid adventurer. Um, but I'm very interested to see the third one. I've heard bad things, but uh, I did enjoy the first one. The second one I didn't like as much, uh, but the first one's a decent movie. I still haven't seen the Tom Cruise Mummy. All right, and then last is eBay. Um, some of these I got from Blow It Out of Here, which is a great place to get stuff uh cheap and then the other one it was from a seller who had a deal i couldn't resist i'll do the blow it out of here ones from ebay first and i picked up uh nosferatu the vampire from 1979 starring klaus kinski i saw this probably in 1980 1981 when it was on hbo i don't remember anything about it so i'm going to consider this a first time watch um i just remember i thought klaus kinski's makeup was really cool um, but I don't remember anything else about it. So this includes the German language version with English subtitles and the English language version. This also stars Isabel Ajani and Bruno Gans. Uh, yeah, so basically this is a retelling of Dracula with the names have been changed to protect the innocent. Um, but, uh, yeah, I also have the original Nosferatu on the way, from Kino Lorber. I took advantage of their spring sale, but uh, for some reason it hasn't shipped yet, so I didn't get it in time. I wanted to basically have both of these in the collection, but this one got here first. And I also picked up a double shot of Jim Carrey, The Mask, and Dumb and Dumber. Dumb and Dumber I had in my collection and got rid of it uh, quite a while ago. The Mask I've never owned and I've only seen once, so I really bought this for that. Uh, but Dumb and Dumber, Dumber is, is a good movie. This is not Dumb and Dumber, the sequel. Uh, but yeah, two Jim Carrey films. And of course, we can't uh, forget Jeff Daniels in Dumb and Dumber. Uh, this is the unrated version of Dumb and Dumber. And it is the rated version of The Mask, which was PG, which was surprising. Uh, and then the last thing I got from Blow It Out of Here is the newly remastered version of Anvil, the story of Anvil, uh, which I don't believe was available on Blu-ray on the first release. It may have been, but I did not have it. I did get the DVD, um, but this is the new Blu-ray, newly remastered in 2022 with enhanced color and remixed in 5.1 surround audio. Uh, this is from MVD Visual the MVD Marquee Collection. Uh, this was a little more expensive than, I'm 
anything else I picked up this month other than maybe the Monty Python set, but I really love this movie. If you like music documentaries and you like kind of um, inspiring stories, this this is a hoot. Um, Anvil admittedly is not the greatest band in the world, but they've got heart. You definitely can't take that away from them. Uh, I did manage to see them in concert uh, after this film was released originally in 2008. And uh, they were really good. I mean, for the type of music they play, which is pretty bare bones, heavy metal. Um, I don't know. I, I really, really enjoyed this movie. <clears throat> All right. And then last, I picked both of these up from one seller. Uh, I did not have this in the collection. This is a blind buy, one of the few blind buys of this haul. Uh, but I picked up Little Monsters with Fred Savage and Howie Mandel. And uh, this is part of the Vestron Collector Series. And this is brand new with the slip. I know this came out quite a while ago, um, but I picked it up just this just this time, just this, just this month. Um, so I'm interested to take a look at this one. And then I, I, my resistance was futile. I picked this up, <laughs> the Rob Zombie Munsters movie. Uh, you, if you realize in my Q and A, if you remember in my Q and A video, I said that I would probably, uh, never consider this a real Munsters movie, but I, my curiosity got the hold of the best of me and, uh, I just want to watch this. If I don't like it, I'll probably get rid of it. It won't make the collection, but I'm interested. It was a deal I couldn't pass up. So uh, I got two, both of these movies for 20 bucks, um, which may not sound like a fantastic deal, but separately these were going for probably about 25, 26. So I don't know. It was worth it to me. So there you go. That's what I picked up in the month of April, 2023, and one left over from last month that I probably talked a little bit too long about. Uh, as always, this is where I thank you for making it this far into the video, and I really appreciate your attention span lasting 17 minutes. And uh, as always, this is the kind of stuff I do here on the channel. If you like it, please hit the subscribe button, uh, hit the thumbs up button, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss my next video. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, uh, and um, take it easy. See ya.